Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, excitement level on a 10. We are taking a look at the cheapest, at the smallest, but at the best priced Class A gas motorhome that you can get for 2022. And a big reason because of that is because there is no slide outs. This is a 2022 Coachman Pursuit Model 27 XPS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this pursuit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be taking a look at a small, cheap, inexpensive, great Class A motorhome. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going today? It's going good, and you guys, I think Matt means most economically priced motorhome. Absolutely. freaking lootly I do want to say, one, I'm super excited because it is a very small motorhome with no slides. A Class A. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Also, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that stopped by Motorhome Special that we met. How did they know we were here? They knew about our Facebook Club Art Deco. Yes, if you guys have a Facebook, make sure you join yes. us. Yes. All right, let's begin. Yes, and it's Club Art Deco on Facebook. That's just our community. Andrea, let's begin. Oh, or follow Matt's RV Reviews on Facebook as well. Model is Coachman Pursuit. 27 XPS. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 29 feet long. Andrea, this wow. is as bare bones as it gets, as entry level as it gets, as amazing price point as it gets. Let's go over on this side. 29 feet. But Andrea, look, no slide outs, okay? Now you guys are probably gonna be wondering, well, hey Matt, the Thor Access, the Thor Vegas, they're smaller. Those aren't true class A gas motorhomes. A true class A gas motorhome is this. It's something that's built on what's called an F53 chassis. And what that gives you is the uh, bigger chassis and smoother, um, ride. smoother rides and bigger tires and everything. Nice big windshield up here. Okay, you're sitting up tall, you're sitting up, you're looking good. I love the pursuit. I love the gray look that they're doing. You know what I'm saying? The gray with the dark gray, that might even be black. Even though this is entry level, it still has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. That's 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andre. And the Goodyear tires. 245-70 R19.5s. Right here, we do got mirrors, okay? No side cameras on either side, okay? There is a camera for reverse. Let me check this out. The little twisty doors. Storage. So one. Look at the side of this. I, I love the shape and everything. It, it looks really good, um, especially for what they're trying to accomplish this price point here. Good storage right there. Yes, We've yes. got a nice awning, you guys. It's pretty good size. Yes, nice power awning. And Andrea, I'm gonna put the awning in and out real quick, just because it's really amazing on a unit this size. And Andrea, while the awning's coming out, one thing that I love about Coachman is that they use Asdell for their fiberglass. Asdell is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. Andre, you might need to back up some to get this full awning. Andre, is that not a huge power awning with LED lights? It is pretty big. It is. And Andrea, um, as you can see, it's pretty windy right here. But Jen's going to do a magic trick. Watch this. You ready? Wow, how'd you do that? Magic, Andrea, a little bit of YouTube magic. What you guys don't see is Andrea's mad at me for jumping so high. Yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna twist his ankle. <laughs> Made in America. That's the Asdell that we were talking about. Power and coax, place for a TV on the outside. Very, very nice. <laughs> What's in there? This ah. is uh, just probably your fresh water to Broke go to connect yep the fresh water to merge with your black water or your gray water i mean and then check this out andre this is gonna be wow oh freaking yeah look at this huge storage wow look at that yes that's so nice wait hold on i think there's raisin lower there's uh leveling jacks on here oh no so this isn't gonna have auto leveling no it's gonna have electric stabilizer right, that's what i meant because it's so small because it's so cheap um, it is what it is. Coming around the 
back on Dre. Oh, dang that, but no okay. ladder to get up on the roof. Nice bumper. We do have a nice bumper. Oh, uh, it's a Storrs. Thank you, Slinky. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Unleaded fuel fill up in the rear, and there is the backup camera for a reverse there. And there's another entryway for the storage. Yep, and another entryway for the storage right here. Right here, Andre, this is where you're dumping your black and gray tank. Okay. Oh. Very nice. Not my favorite right here, but. No, it's all exposed. Potable water fill. Potable, potable. Black tank flush, city water connection, everything. And um, guys, this black tank flush is actually, this on most motorhomes, and we just kind of ignore it. It is cool that they did give it to you on this price point of a motorhome. This is gonna help clean your black tank. A lot of times when manufacturers are trying to accomplish something, they won't put that in just to try to save a few bucks. Right over here, Andrea, is your generator. This is a NPS 4500 Yamaha generator. That must mean this is a 30 amp motorhome, which I didn't even see the connections, did you? Um, no. Water heater right here. Outdoor shower. Outdoor shower. This must be it. Propane. Propane. All the specs right here. Bing! So everybody can see who's watching on television. That's interesting, right? I didn't see the power cord. I didn't see it either, Matt. All right, well, hang on. Maybe it's in that back storage. It's gotta be. How the heck do you plug this thing in? I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, it's right there. Ah, uh, there it is. 30 amp, okay. 30 amp power cord. I was about to say, lithium ion? No. Well, Andrea, the outside of this pursuit looks great. It truly does. But wait until you see the inside on freaking real. Let's Be go careful. take a look. Oh, these rocks. All right, Matt, don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. That's pretty good as well. 2,314 pounds. Wow. Pounds. Now, look at this when you come in. It's so much different in here than the outside of it. Wow, look at this walkway. I love it. No slides. What you see is what you get. And guys, I got to say, I mean, I'm not a fan of the outside, but the inside is great. Look at this. So spacious. Here is the bathroom and the bed, north and south bed you can use because there's no slides. This is great. And Andrea, since there's no slides, we can't give a shout out to RV Life. We won't do the commercial today, guys, but please listen. If you haven't yet done RV Life, it is the best app for RVers. Click our link down in the description below or go to rvlife.com and use promo code MATSRVREVIEWS. We're gonna give you a free seven day trial just to try it out. And if you do decide to go with it, 25% off on top of that. Andrea, it's the camping season. Campgrounds are getting hard to find. RV Life Pro is the best app for RVers. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Matt. I'm just I'm just like awestruck at the she's, interior. She's speechless because of <laughs> RV Life Pro. Andrea, <laughs> look at this. What the heck is happening in my world? I this don't is know. awesome, isn't it? Coachman, not? they just do a great job with it's their interior. It's a class A gas motorhome with no slide outs. It it's doesn't really even feel spacious. like it. I know. So okay. many things I like already. Let's get started up front here. All right, little step up. It's okay. Big, comfy couch. This isn't the captain's seat. It's the captain's couch. You got a little cup holder here. Pretty chintzy and crappy, to be honest with you. We got a privacy curtain right there. Yes, these these are horrible. I'll tell you about them later. Uh, again, 7.3, guys. This is going to be the same engine that's in the 38-foot, 26,000-pound one. So, I mean, don't don't even worry about overloading this. You know, well, one, never overload it, but you know what I'm saying. You got your screens here for reverse Apple CarPlay. All your buttons are right there. Nice little doghouse. Andre, you sit in my co-captain's seat. Yes, it looks very comfortable. Sure does. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now you yes. are sitting a little straight back. Yeah, and these do swivel. Okay. So I don't know where the thing is. It's right Here there. Is. Yep. Okay, so this I don't this is crazy. Yeah, we will talk about that um, later. I like this. This is actually really nice. I like how it comes up like this and it sits up high. Yes, and you got a 12 volt plug yes. and USB right yes, there. Yes, very nice. Mm. spacious comfortable it does swivel um got cubbies up here and a nice bunk over the cab andrea this is our third video oh uh, that we've done here what was the first one we did I oh can't. yeah yeah fr3 
Yeah, no, dude. I mean, this motorhome is the most exciting so far. It, it most really exciting is. of the day. It's so exciting because it has no slides and it's just very spacious. And the way it looks. Yeah. So it looks good. We got a manual bunker with a cab. Well, of course, Andrea. Gotta okay. Keep the price Watch the, the seats. So it's a very little one, you guys. It only yeah. holds 300 pounds. Yep. So only one person could get up there. Yep. But, you know, the one thing I, I will say is just like, yeah, it sucks, but with electric ones, they can break. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, with this, it's not. And then, Andre, if you just back up to show the whole thing, I mean, wow. Look at the interior colors in here. I know. Do colors matter? They you know do. They really can make a motorhome. Okay. Nice cabinets, good storage. I mean, this is as cheap, Andrea. Come here, come here, look at this. This is as cheap as a motorhome can get, but it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what color does. Look at these nice silver Triscuit balances. <laughs> Andrea? Approved! Oh, I actually like them too. Me too. And they gave you, okay, you get womp, these blinds. Womp. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But I... they make up for it because it's so super cute. Yes. Nice sofa here. Oh, man. I bet you we that's a got jackknife. Robbed. We got robbed. Like, have you sat in our sofa? Yes. It's not as comfortable. I know. Um. So in our motorhome, we have a smaller sofa. That's too big for ours. We it's couldn't too get big. One. Yeah. And like, I feel like we got gypped. Um. But this is a very comfortable sofa. And Andrea was wondering if it jacked. It does. Right? No. No, it does not. It doesn't. Wow. It totally look. Oh, there's storage under there. Nice storage that underneath great. there. The dinette over here, Andrea. We do got storage underneath Both here. Both sides. Can you show kind of show the inside there? Yeah, I'm gonna get down. Very nice. Nice dinette right here. Um, seat belts in the dinette. Seat belts in the sofa. Nice window. TV above I the like window. the TV up there. Yes. Now this motorhome uh, is a 15k air conditioning unit and there is a 100 watt solar panel on the roof okay enough to charge batteries yep yep and um just really really and nice it just drop down to make a bed it does drop down to make a bed yes ma'am andrea show us the kitchen okay real quick i'm gonna come over here okay you have a cabinet above yeah and then here's the kitchen they got this frosted look which is nice mm, it's like diamonds. cabinet here a double sink I don't know if I would have wanted a double sink. I think more counter space probably would have been important. Correct, hundred thousand percent. We've got a cabinet here. Oh, that's excellent space for a trash can, which I appreciate. Believe me. Yeah. And uh, we have a, this a microwave or this is a microwave. Yep. And then we got a three burner propane cooktop. Magic Chef. Magic Chef, with an oven. Oh, very nice. Okay, over here we have the compressor Everchill refrigerator. Very nice. Very nice. Very good size. And we've got a drawer under here. Soft clothes. Yes. Coming into the split bath, we have an accordion door. Okay. Interesting. Stay in that shower, Andrea, okay. for us. So we have a little step up. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. That's the same size shower as ours, right. 24 With by 36. Door, which is, you know, one of my favorites. Yep. Uh, there's also another one of these. So there's no, there's no real doors except this door. Um... Oh gosh. Oh. Oh gosh. I hope. No, no, no. Oh gosh. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> okay. All right. Show, show that inside. Okay. So coming in here, there's a mirror here. We've got a nice cabinet here. Nice sink. Okay. This, this is strange, but so you got space there, some cubbies there. And this is very interesting. I, I have to see what you have to say about this. It's on a pedestal. Hmm. Not too much swing on your legs. No, it's... There is no perfect motorhome, Matt. At least I haven't found it yet. So, like, it's weird. It's porcelain. It's like I'm elevated, even though my feet aren't swinging. You know what I'm saying? Like... It is elevated. It is elevated, but, like, my legs are... I'm not going to give it a prime poop. I mean... I can't give it a prime poop position, but I'm also not gonna fail it. So it just it's it's 
It's, it's just is what it is. P to the fourth power neutral. <laughs> okay. All right. That's interesting. All right, coming into the master bedroom. What a great master bedroom with wow. no slides. Walk Look around at this bed, nice a, queen size bed. Yeah, it's called a north to south bed. Very cute. Love the pillows. Look at the um pillows right How there. How they match the balances. Yep, yep, very nice. Nice windows and everything. You mount a TV up there. Okay, so you got a wardrobe over there. I like that it has a nightstand there. Okay, there is something like that little thing there. Yep, just for you to play okay. stuff. And then over here, you can see, I mean, it, do, it is tight to get through here for, for me to walk around, but I can do it. And then up here, you got another step. And then uh, look, nightstand with the drawer. And then right here, Andre, you see that black thing? That's so you can put a CPAP machine in and actually keep it in there and run the hose down. And another wardrobe. I love how light it is in here. It's so light and bright. It actually, like, it's going to sound stupid. Like, it feels good in here. Like, it's it positive It does. Energy. It is positive energy. Yep. And I like that they gave you this this big bed still. I mean, it's just a good-looking good looking unit. Well, Andrea, people are dying to know what the MSRP is. And you know what? We will tell everyone. You know what? Let's do MSRP now. Um, switch it up a bit. Yeah. And then we'll give people three things yes. like, three things don't like. So... Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. You guys aren't going to want to miss this. MSRP on this motorhome here, just the MSRP, is $145,732. Andrea. What? MSRP. Wow. That's Sale insane. price. We can't say sale price. You guys know why. But if you guys saw the FR3 the other day, I mean, we're talking $40,000 less. Um, so pretty, pretty impressive. Andrea made a face. We I, gotta I check forgot. See what's under yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. All right, if you stand over there, and then we'll give you guys three things we like and three things we don't like. I, I gotta check just to make sure. I didn't think there was. Yeah, there's nothing okay. under the bed. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we like and three things we don't like. Uh, I want to do three things we dislike about it first. Okay. All right, Matt, I want to go first. Absolutely. Because I'm right here. Talk to me. Okay, uh, I'm not a big fan of the accordion doors. Right. Okay? I get why it's here. There's yep. not a lot of room, but definitely here. Yep. Need a little bit more privacy yep. for the bathroom. We identify the problem. We don't know the solution. We don't know the solution. <laughs> but we, we do know the problem. Yes. That is definitely number one. I am going to go num again. Oh, keep on going. I'm not a fan of the double sink here. Yes. Why takes, is that? Takes up too much room. Now, but normally you like double sinks. Normally, uh, not really. I'd rather just have like a, a big sink. But when it's this small, I'd rather just have one sink yes. or counter space. Yes. So then that's number two. And then Andre, can I do number three? No. You have number three. Okay, my number three, Matt. Is it is it up here? It's got to be the bunk. No, not the bunk. Oh, no, no. Sorry, it's the yes. curtains. Yes, yes. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> All right, so I don't like these curtains. I definitely think it's not a big deal to put shades in. Yeah. Um, They're just... Big, an ugly eyesore. eyesores. Yeah. Yep. And, and I'm just afraid, like, they'll come off the track and then I'll have to keep fixing them. Whoa. Not trying to go there. They will 100% come off the yes. track. 100,000%. Yeah. One already is. Um, contest of the day. If somebody can show me a a Coachman Pursuit that has 5,000 miles on it, that has all the wrongs in place, $25 Bass Pro Shop gift card. Nice. Because even this one, like, you see how that one already fell off? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, I, I do not like those. But, Andre, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Do you mind if I go first? Sure. Okay, Andrea, no slide Yes. Outs. This is the way it is while you're driving. This is the way it is while you're parked. This is the way it is while you're cracker docking. That's sleeping on a cracker barrel. This is the way it is when it's in for service. This is the way it's in when your family's with you. This is the way it is when you're solo. This is the way it is at all times. Freaking love it. This is the that. way it is when you don't have to worry about a slide breaking. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. number one, Andrea, number two. It. Okay, it's so cute in here. I mean, I just love the interior. I love the colors, I love the balances, I love the brightness of this, and I'm gonna combo mine with the TV placement. I really like where the TV is. Andrea, I'm gonna say the F word, feng shui. The feng shui in here, the brightness, it makes me feel good. I feel like a butterfly, and <laughs> all I want is the sun. You know what I'm saying? Yes. No, but seriously, I mean, if you guys saw a yes. review from two days ago, I mean, that was just such a dark motorhome. Like, give me light, give me bright. 
Um, and it just feels so great in here. It's I, very homey. Yep. So that's number two. And then Andrea, number three. Gotta be that bedroom. Um, the bedroom's nice, uh, but I'm gonna say more of the exterior storage on the outside. Uh, eat, and, and the price point. I mean, the price point, this is what it is. You get what you get, and uh, it's just awesome. We did forget to say that it is 29 feet, which yeah. is kind of a big deal. So, you know, State not National Park. Exactly. Yeah. And, and eat, a lot of times, State National Parks, even if they can fit a longer motorhome, they might have a big old tree next to it. Right. Where this, no slide outs, no problems. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying one of these motorhomes, please go to our website. It's mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact tab. Andrea, me and Will, we're working hard to match people up to one of our RVR partners because we're nationwide guys. So it doesn't matter where you live. We have a partner that sells one of these. So go to the website and we will find you one. We're going to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire RV industry. Andrea, anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you just like. Coachman does read the comments, so please leave your feedback. Yes. Um, don't forget, we do have a Facebook, you guys. Oh. Pop Art Deco. Can't wait to see you. If you haven't joined, please join. It's a great way to communicate with Matt and I and everybody else about camping. And there is a Matt's RV Reviews on Facebook. If you like seeing shorter two-minute tours, I'll also search Matt's RV Reviews on Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.